I mean, I think it's a good idea. I mean, the market's there. All the company has to do is open up a brand new department specifically for it. Yeah. Well, hey, it's a great idea, Henry. The only thing I'm worried about is the timing and the end of the year budget. The company's not doing that badly, is it? I would just cover all my bases, you know? Pitch for next quarter. Fresh budget, fresh thinking. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for the advice, Mason. Henry, you better come quick. Toby just answered your phone. I think he's trying to steal another one of your clients. Oh, man. No, 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 that's not what I said. Look, just make it happen, Gene, all right? Good. What's the status on last quarter's numbers? Uh, yeah, I got them right over here. What's this? Proposal for next quarter. Interesting. Sir, that's This is a very bold proposal. You know what our budgets are like right now. Yeah, but that's... Uh, so that's... You know, I like a man who isn't afraid to take risks. Buck the trends. I'm gonna look over this very carefully. If you've done your homework, you may be in for an advancement. Ah! No. No, damn it, Gene. Don't ruin this for us. You really screwed Henry over here. But there was nothing I could do. Frederick looked at it, didn't stop talking, and then walked out. Screw Henry. He's spineless. I bet you you wouldn't even say anything if you found out about what you did. Toby, you're such a dick. Whatever. As if Frederick hasn't stolen our ideas, I claim them as his own. Hey, you remember the bailout? I still don't agree with that. Yeah, me either, but I don't want to lose my job. If it comes down to us or Germany, I say bomb Germany. That's a bit excessive. They'll screw everyone over. I say take them, cancel our debts, and set up an outpost in Europe. Seriously. Absolutely. It makes pure financial sense. Mason, tell them you agree with <laughs> Yeah. Financially, it makes sense. I'll be, I'll be right back. How's he going? Looks like they ditched you. Maybe I ditched them. <laughs> uh, what about you? You ditch your friends? Yes, I think so. Wow, that's doozy. What, that he's got dollars? Well, no, money's great, but... I mean, servers are people, too. <laughs> She's not some drained seal. Is he supposed to be somebody important? He'd like to think so. But most of the people I work with act like they're important. You know, to get to the top. What is it? Oh, real estate. I bet it's real estate, right? Nope. Finance. Big investments with international companies in crisis. So you're one of those guys? Those guys? The guys that work hard and play hard? Like in the beer commercials, right? No, I'm not like those guys. I do enjoy the fruits of my labor, but getting to the top can actually be a real challenge. I think I could get on top pretty easily. But who would I have to sleep with or worse yet, stab in the back to get there? Mason, you son of a bitch! Oh, you have a lady friend. I'm sorry. Henry, leave Mason alone. He's trying to close the deal. This is a good guy. <laughs> Smart guy, ruthless guy, but big guy. Nice friend. Oh, I don't know if I'd call him that. I know what you mean. Want to get out of here? Mr. Fredericks? I thought we were friends. You know what, we're 
Done. Next time I see you. <sighs> Somebody sounds angry. Oh, Henry. You'll be all right. He just needs to relax. Because it sounds like he stole his idea. But then to the your own. You know, if somebody did that to me, I'd be pretty angry too. Yeah. You'll be okay. Hey, you want to get some breakfast? <clears throat> oh, sure. Here. Five more minutes. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Shoot. What do you want in life? Success. Okay. What's your idea of success? Money? Power? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but more than that. I want to be a leader. Take risks and watch them pay off. Does that include screwing over anybody to get to the top? Because I don't think you're that kind of guy. Really? One night you know me through and through. <laughs> no. But I... I don't see it in your eyes. I don't get it. Well, see, the eyes are the window to the soul. You know? Tell a lot about a person. Okay. What about that guy? What did his eyes say? Oh, uh, well, he looked pretty tired and grumpy. I'll give you that one. So what do you see in my eyes? I can see that you're hungry. Yeah. Where is this breakfast place? Haha. -ha. I mean hungry for life, you know? This little crow's feet on the side of your eyes. Show kindness and compassion. They're energetic and kind of looking. Do they really? Yes. And that's good. <laughs> Same guy? Yeah. Uh, he's pretty angry. Yeah. I mean, it was a misunderstanding, though. Maybe you need to apologize and fess up to the boss. I don't know. I don't think that'll go over well. If it was a misunderstanding and, and you explain it, then, I mean, I'm sure they'll understand. <laughs> what are you, some kind of life coach or counselor? No. <laughs> I just care, you know? And, uh, you are pretty cute. <laughs> oh, don't get sappy on me, Mr. Important Businessman. I'm not here to change your life, you know. I just want some breakfast. Well, I can help you with that. Mason, heads up. Henry's looking for you and he's mad. I know. He's left a dozen messages this morning. What the hell did you guys tell him? We said nothing. Toby was out of control. Yeah, he really stretched the truth. You know how he likes to wind Henry up. Great. Toby, what the hell? Why did you tell Henry? <laughs> Relax, Maze. He's gonna find out. Yeah, but now he thinks I did it all on purpose to stab him in the back. And you didn't? Come on, man. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world we live in. She didn't see him crying last night. There you are. You dick. What the hell, man? We were out drinking, and then Toby tells me that you presented my idea to Mr. Fredericks without my permission. Thought we were friends. Henry, I didn't do Don't give me that goddamn doggy dog world killer be killed garbage. I thought you had a heart. I thought you were different than these soulless money grubbing whores around here. I would have expected this from Toby, <laughs> not from you. Wow! Henry really grew some balls! Toby! Shut up. Oh. What the hell's all this shouting? Why hasn't this meeting come to order? Sir! Mason and Henry over here have some beef. Shut up, Toby. Nobody likes you. That's it. Everybody out. Clear this room. Get it.
Not you two. You two stay. Uh oh. Get out of here, Tool. What's going on, gentlemen? Sir, the brief and portfolio you read yesterday was all Henry's idea. You left it on my desk, and when you thought it was mine, I didn't correct you. I'm really sorry, and I'm ready to face the consequences, whatever they may be. Is this true, Henry? Yes, sir. Mason, what you've done is clearly wrong. All the credit will be given to Henry, and he's going to be the lead on this new project. However, you guys work very well together and make a great team. Henry, with your approval, I'd like to make Mason your second in charge in this project. Yes, sir. Mason, it takes a lot of guts owning up to your mistakes. Any spineless weasel can steal an idea and call it his own. But a true leader knows when to step up and support the rest of the team, even if they're not in charge. Are we going to have any more problems here, gentlemen? No, sir. No, sir. Good. Get cracking. I want to present my report to the board by the end of the week. Hey, Henry. You're sorry. I get it. Thanks. How'd it go? Yeah, it actually went over really well. <laughs> yeah, you are now my own personal life coach. Um, what are you doing today for lunch? I'm free. Do you want to... Yeah, I can do lunch. The art gallery in like half an hour? Alright, see you then.